Welcome back Commander, my name is Tim and in this video we're going to be having a look at the Allot mod that's just been released for the Legendary Edition. If this is your first time here, I make videos on Mass Effect and I've already got a ton of videos to choose from on my channel so make sure you check them out after you finish this one. The Allot mod stands for a lot of textures and it was made for the original trilogy to enhance the graphics to modern standards. This is taken directly from the website. While much of the work put into a lot was rendered obsolete by the Legendary Edition, many textures remain superior in a lot even now. These textures were ported to the Legendary Edition to get the best of both worlds. Additionally, the original Allot's improved static lighting, or ISL, component was remade and vastly improved upon in the Legendary Edition. Much of the lighting and shadows you see in game are pre-rendered and stored as textures. These textures have not been improved for Legendary Edition, which results in blocky shadows pretty much everywhere in the games. ISL fixes this by running the textures through a state-of-the-art neural network based diagnosing, anti-aisling and upscaling process for about 40,000 light and shadow maps across the trilogy. So the mod is worth installing to make sure your copy of the game is even nicer. To do this, head over to the Nexus website and search for a lot mod legendary edition and from here go to file manual download. And then you wait. The website caps you at a download of 2 megabyte. so unless you want to pay for the faster download, you're going to have a little bit of a wait. And wait. And wait. Whilst that is downloading, you do actually need two other programs. First is the ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager, there's a link in the description, just follow the instructions to install. This program helps you manage all the mods you want to install, apart from the lot mod that we are currently downloading, but I'll come to that in a moment. Within this program, you will want to create a backup of the game. Should you want to take any mods out, this backup will revert your game to its base original and you won't need to reinstall. Okay, let's just have a check on that download. Yeah, it looks like we've still got some time. There are currently a few other mods in the Legendary Edition. If you want to install these, download them first, then drag them into this program. No need to unpack them. The ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager will unpack the zip file and then you can select which mods you want to install and the mod manager does all the hard work for you. You'll need to install any other mods you want before you install the allot mod, as that has to be the last one you do. I wonder if they're nearly downloaded. Hmm, guess not. So the next program you need is the MEM. And again, I'll put a link to this in the description for a detailed guide on how to set it up. Once all the files are downloaded for use in the MEM, they will need to be extracted first, and then you can import them. Once the program recognises the files, you can go ahead and install them. And then you wait. Again. The light is improved along with the textures, giving you a nice crisp cream looking game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a little boom on the like button. If you want more information on modding Mass Effect, then check out this interview here with Audemus and see my review on the expanded Galaxy mod that's coming out soon for the Legendary Edition. Check out this video just here. Big thank you to all my supporters, especially Nerd and Dude, and I'll see you next time. Commander. <laughs>